Nowadays, when people in the West think of Russian technology, they most often picture military hardware or Soviet-era space achievements. But what you may not know is that Russia has been quietly developing something with the potential to change not only its own energy sector, but possibly influence future aerospace design as well. It's called the GTD-110M, the first turbine that was designed and manufactured entirely in Russia. Don't mistake it for just an ordinary piece of heavy industrial equipment. Its capabilities are far more fascinating than you might think. So why is this turbine so important? How does it outperform Western technology? Let's find out. To truly understand the significance of the GTD-110M, we need to look at the context of the tension and pressure Russia has faced in recent years. For decades, Russia's energy sector was deeply dependent on gas turbines produced by Western technology giants like Siemens, General Electric, GE, and Alstom. These engines were the backbone of power plants across the country, supplying energy to millions of homes and industrial facilities. This relationship was strong and seemed irreplaceable. However, everything changed abruptly after Russia launched its special military operation in Ukraine. A series of international sanctions were imposed, cutting Russia off from global technology supply chains. Western companies withdrew from the Russian market, making the purchase, maintenance, and replacement of gas turbines nearly impossible. This crisis was not only an economic challenge but also a direct threat to Russia's energy security. Hundreds of power plants faced the risk of shutting down or experiencing a significant decline in performance without replacement parts and technical services. Given this situation, Russia was faced with a difficult choice – either retreat and accept dependence, or move forward and create its own solutions. They chose the latter path. It was from this pressure, and from the desire for technological self-sufficiency, that the project to develop a large-capacity domestic gas turbine was strongly pushed forward. The GTD-110M was not a strategic choice, but a necessary condition for Russia to maintain stability and sovereignty in its energy sector. In 2024, this turbine was officially put into operation at the Udarnaya power plant in southern Russia during a ceremony overseen virtually by President Vladimir Putin. His remarks summed up the moment. The fact that we have new production facilities and that we are becoming independent, technologically sovereign, at least in this segment, is very important. The fact that President Vladimir Putin personally presided over the engine's launch ceremony via video conference affirmed the importance of this strategy. For Moscow, this wasn't just an engineering milestone, it was a symbol of industrial sovereignty. So, what makes the GTD-110M so special? By the way, everything's about to get even more surprising. But before continuing, don't forget to like, share, and hit subscribe. Thanks a ton. At first glance, the GTD-110M appears to be a typical industrial gas turbine, a massive machine housed within a power plant. But don't let its massive appearance fool you. This is no ordinary gas turbine. It is a masterpiece of engineering born from pressure, a declaration of self-sufficiency, and it holds surprises that could change how we view Russian technology. Let's pull back the curtain on this machine's secrets to see what makes it so special and why it's making such a big splash. The first surprise it has the power to light up an entire city. What do you think a single machine can do? The GTD-110M is no small feat. It's a true beast. It can generate enough electricity to power tens of thousands of households or keep large industrial facilities running without breaking a sweat. At the Udarnaya power plant, it boosted the facility's total capacity from 454 megawatt to an incredible 560 megawatt. That means this one turbine alone is enough to light and sustain 10% of the electricity demand for a vast area like the Krasnodar region. This isn't just about power, it's about energy security. The second surprise, it is smaller, lighter, but still superior in capability. Sometimes size is proportional to power. But with the GTD-110M, the Russians have proven the opposite. Compared to similar Western-made products, this Russian turbine is lighter and more compact. This may seem simple, but it's a huge strategic advantage. The smaller size makes transportation, installation, and integration into existing power grids much easier, saving significant time and cost. But the most astonishing part is this. Despite its smaller footprint, Russian engineers confidently claim its performance is on par with, and in some cases, even superior to its Western competitors. This reveals a design ingenuity and material optimization that is not a copy, but an improvement. The third surprise, efficiency by design. In the world of engines, efficiency is everything. Every percentage point of efficiency gained translates into massive cost savings over time. 
This turbine was designed not just to run, but to run smart. Rostec engineers focused on creating a machine that could consume less fuel while producing more electricity. This is a critical factor not only for economic reasons, but also for the environment, aligning with global sustainable development trends. It proves that the Russians didn't just want to create a replacement product, they wanted to create a better one. The next surprise, for an engine to be effective, it must be able to withstand a beating. Rostec engineers developed special components capable of withstanding extremely high temperatures and pressures, ensuring the turbine operates smoothly even under the most demanding conditions. But that's not all. This durability also significantly reduces the need for maintenance, a huge benefit for long-term reliability and stability. This isn't just an engine that was built, it's an engine that was forged to endure, to overcome every challenge. Finally and foremost, 100% made in Russia. From the initial blueprint to the final assembly, every single component was designed and manufactured entirely domestically. For Russia, this isn't just about national pride, it's a powerful statement of technological independence, a strategic defense against future supply chain disruptions. As the world seeks to isolate Russia technologically, the GTD-110M stands tall as proof that the Russians can not only survive, but also innovate and rise. This is the new heart of Russian industry, created by their own hands and intellect. You might be wondering, what does all of this have to do with the aviation industry? Don't let its massive industrial appearance fool you, because it has a secret that could shape the future of Russian aviation. This is the aspect that has attracted the most curiosity, and it's why many believe the GTD-110M is not just an energy engine, but a secret weapon for aviation. Although designed for power generation, aerospace engineers are closely monitoring the turbine for a simple reason. Its core characteristics precisely mirror the qualities a modern jet engine needs. Let's explore these amazing commonalities. First, there's its lightweight structure and superior efficiency. Modern jet engines need to be light to save fuel and increase payload capacity. The turbine has proven it can do this, with a significantly more compact design than its western counterparts, while still achieving comparable or even superior performance. Next is its high resilience in harsh conditions. Aircraft engines must operate in extremely demanding environments, from high temperatures to low pressure. Rostex engineers developed special components for the GTD-110M to withstand extremely high heat and pressure, ensuring smooth and durable operation, exactly what an aircraft engine requires. Finally, there's fuel efficiency. Like aviation turbines, the turbine is designed to consume less fuel while generating more power. These advancements in fuel efficiency are a crucial factor in helping a new generation of aircraft fly farther and more cost-effectively. Clearly, the GTD-110M engine itself won't be fitted under the wings of a passenger plane anytime soon, but the breakthroughs in research and development, R&D from this project, can be directly applied to Russia's next-generation aircraft engines. In a context where Russia is trying to rebuild its civil aviation industry without relying on Western technology, having a domestic R&D resource like the GTD-110M is a huge strategic advantage. Its innovation in heat-resistant materials, precise engineering, and aerodynamic design are the first building blocks paving the way for future breakthroughs in the aerospace industry. The success of the turbine marks a turning point, but the road ahead is still fraught with obstacles. Russia continues to face major challenges in closing the technology gap with Western competitors and in transforming a single successful product into a sustainable, large-scale industry. Besides, building a large-scale gas turbine is one of the toughest engineering challenges any nation can face, and Russia has paid the price through painful setbacks. For example, in 2017, during initial testing, one of the prototype turbines exploded. It was a harsh reminder of the complexity of this technology. From developing materials that can withstand extreme temperatures to achieving millimeter-level precision in engineering, every single component has to be flawless. These failures, however, did not discourage Russia. On the contrary, they became valuable lessons, pushing engineers to work harder to perfect both the design and the manufacturing process. The GTD-110M's eventual success stands as living proof of persistence and the ability to learn from mistakes. Not only that, building one turbine is one thing, mass production is another. Rostec plans to produce at least four turbines per year, but meeting that target requires massive investment in factories, advanced equipment, and a highly skilled workforce. Ensuring that these turbines remain reliable over time, matching or exceeding the performance of Western models, presents another major challenge. 
On top of that, Russia's exclusion from global supply chains makes it harder to innovate at the same pace as other countries. They now have to develop everything domestically, from specialized materials to sophisticated electronic components, which were once imported. This is both a burden and a motivation, driving Russia to invest more heavily in R&D and in building up its supporting industries. For Russia, the GTD-110M is more than just an engine. It is a symbol of technological independence, a declaration that Russia can produce even the most complex technologies without Western assistance. The success of this engine could pave the way for Russia to become an independent producer of large gas turbines on the international market, competing with giants like GE and Siemens. Furthermore, if the technologies developed for the GTD-110M can be applied to aviation, it could bring a significant strategic advantage to Russia. In a global aviation industry seeking more efficient and sustainable solutions, breakthroughs from the turbine could help Russia create a new generation of aircraft engines that are competitive in both performance and technology. One thing is certain, this engine has changed the game. It has proven that even in isolation, ingenuity and determination can lead to breakthroughs. And if a power plant engine can bring hope to the aviation sector, we can believe that the future of Russian technology still holds many surprises. The GTD-110M is a story of resilience, innovation, and determination. Born from the harshest challenges, it is proving that Russia can overcome adversity to create advanced technological products. Do you think this turbine is capable of competing with the West? Based on this achievement, how would you assess the manufacturing capabilities of Russian engineers? Let's discuss in the comments below. Thank you and stay safe.